Time to say goodbye When I come back like joy We in the 4-5 It ain't to play games with you It's to aim at you Probably mean you If I owe you I'm blowing you to smithereens Except I take one for your team And I need you to remember one thing One thing I came, I saw, I conquered For record sales Sold out concerts Sean Patrick Bowley was nice enough to come on with us this morning After a long night last night With the Brookfield Magic game Sean, good morning, how you doing? Hey guys, what's going on? Nothing much First of all, let me just ask you this one question. Massick comes in, number five, Brookfield's unranked. Did it have a surprise there, or was there something in the air that made you think maybe Brookfield's got a shot to win this game? Well, let's see. The only thing that really made me think that Brookfield had a shot to win the game was that they were 3-0 and and they hadn't been beaten yet. In my position, you really don't want to take the chance that they will get beaten. So you're like, well, it's a good game. It's full 3 0. You always cover those undefeated matchups as much as possible. So, yeah. They're a senior dominated team, Brookfield, and you're just like, well, let's go and see what happens. And something happens, we're there. And if something doesn't happen, we're still there, just in case. So, but I guess you could say it, it was pretty shocking. I think it was the most shocking result of the night. And something you were mentioning, I know I was getting texts from you uh, during the game, and Matic had, I think, probably about a 15-point lead of one point going right into the third quarter. Was it composure? Was it just something they saw in the NASA defense? Or was it a combination of everything that helped them pull ahead? It was a lot of different things. It wasn't a bad 15-point deficit they were behind. I mean, they came out, and that's the first team defense. They hadn't given up a point all season long. Brookfield actually scored first and actually had a 9-3 lead early in the second quarter. And Massick was only ahead... 17 to 9 at halftime and then 24 to 9 because of a couple of Brookfield turnovers and a kickoff return touchdown too. What happened was Brookfield was going to go in for a score to go ahead. It was 10 to 9. The quarterback threw an interception at the five yard line and Magic went right back and down and scored. And then at the beginning of the second half, Brookfield, another interception led to a 34 yard touchdown pass. The next thing you know, it's like it was only because Brookfield made the mistakes. They were clearly the better team after that. I mean, they're if it wasn't for those mistakes, they probably would have just blown them out of the water. They were that good last night. They just kept coming and 
coming and coming, and, and Massive defense and Massive offense, they just had no answer for them, which that was probably the most shocking thing of, of all. Now, Jordan Morant, I believe that's pronunciation, uh, the junior quarterback, 19-35, 349 yards and four touchdowns, one of the better performances you've seen this season, I'm sure. How would you assess his performance? He was tremendously, the kid was just, you know, when you talk about resiliency, the way he was just kind of able to put his mistakes behind him, I mean, his numbers were, were outstanding. And 